Hello all, the practitioner. This is a trick called the magnetic card box, and you'll see why. What I have here is a standard basic card box, okay? There's nothing in it. Uh, I'll just have to move the camera down a little bit so this way you can see. Anyways, I was saying there's absolutely nothing in this card box. Nothing on either side of it. It literally is just the card carrying case for my standard deck of bicycle cards. And I also have with me a standard half dollar. This is an American half dollar. I don't use shells. I can't stand shells. And I can't stand magicians who use shells. Or, oops, as I said, I can't stand shells. I end up dropping, I end up losing them because I, they bounce, they drop stuff. Anyway, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick the, I'm just going to hold the uh, coin here. Now I'm just going to focus on the card box. And with any luck, see? All of a sudden, the um, coin just got attracted there by the card box. And, whoop. Sorry, sometimes it gets a little too powerful and uh, causes it to uh, overshoot the magnetic field by reversing the polarity on one side of the box to the other. And let's try it one more time. Three, two. As you can see, it, it got attracted. But you know what the odd bit is? Is that the magnetism on the card box is selective. Because when I put the coin down here, as you can see in plain view, I take the card box and I try to attract it though, and the coin's still there. Like I said, magnetism only works when I select it to. So remember, the coin's still in this hand right here. Here's the card box. One, two, focus. And whoops, there it goes. It's just that it becomes that uh, magnetic focus, if you will, between just that magnetic focus between a uh, card box. See, it completely attracted the I completely attracted it right into my hand over here. That's selective magnetism because when I try to focus the power into the card box and get it to become magnetic otherwise, it don't work. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that should be a fun trick for you. That one's called the magnetic. Um, you can also do it as an effect with a uh, coin, with a purse frame or um, a pen or anything like that. Um, I like to do that one called the magnetic card box. It's an old variation on a, um, sorry, it's a new spin on an old trick. Um, actually, I think I blatantly revealed the secret once or twice there. Um, if you can catch it, great. Um, if not, well, hopefully you'll figure it out. Uh, for those of you magicians who are watching, please don't reveal the secret of this to anyone else. <sighs> ah, a little tired. Anywho. So yeah, please don't reveal the secret to anyone else if you figure it out. And yeah, I hope you enjoy that. And uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyway, as they say, toodles.